was not a white man. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ was a dark complected man. And we're going to show you that in the scriptures today. Many of y'all got in your mind that Jesus Christ was a white man. That's, that's what you think that Jesus Christ is like. But the Bible says otherwise. And we're going to show you that. In the book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. Read. Book of Revelation chapter 1. In verse, verse, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. The Bible says that Jesus Christ had woolly textured hair. Webster's Dictionary says that woolly textured hair is kinky hair or Negro hair. Showing you that the Jesus Christ that they show us in the movies and so forth around Christmas time is a lie. Christ did not have stringy hair. He had woolly, kinky hair. Read. His eyes were as the flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is a form of brown. Christ was some form of brown, but the Bible's going to go further in explaining what Jesus Christ looked like. Read on. As if they burned in a fire. You burn anything in a furnace to the point that it's burnt. You burn up that chicken. You burn up that pizza. You burn up that turkey or them, that baked macaroni. I know some of y'all that burnt that macaroni up on Thanksgiving before and on Christmas before, and you had to start over because it was burnt. What color was that macaroni, that burnt macaroni? That macaroni was black. That's right. Jesus Christ was a dark complexed man from That's the right. tribe of Judah. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, uh -huh. and his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice, so like we come out here today with our voice exhorted, with our voice loud, so that the people in this community can hear us, Christ spoke loud. Christ spoke with a loud voice. So what are we showing? We're reading the King James Bible to show you who you are. about thinking that you are African Americans. But the Bible says otherwise. You are not African Americans according to the Bible. According to the scripture, you are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We're going to show you that in the scriptures. In the scriptures, we're going to show you who you are. It's time for you to wake up and realize who you are. Give me Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, in verse 3. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Many of y'all don't realize who you are according to the Bible. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse 3. The up, north is on it. Ox knows his own. That's a dumb animal. The Bible says that a dumb animal such as the ox knows who his owner is. Read. And the ass, his master's friend. Another dumb animal, the ass, the jackass, also knows who, where his house is. Read. But Israel do not know. It says Israel don't know. They don't consider who they are. They think that, the, that the, the Jews are those people in Delmar Loop. They think that the Jews are those people over there in Israel with the black beanie hat on their head. That's not who they are. We're going to show you today who you are according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Was that it on uh, 1 and 3? Yes. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28. Yeah. Uh, 28 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. 
and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. The reason we experiencing these things that we experiencing. That was 15 or 15. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken. Hey, brother, brother, let me ask you a question. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? See, our people don't even consider. I ain't nothing, I ain't nothing uh, according to the Bible. According, you, you say you ain't nothing according to the Bible? Yes, you are. Let me show you who you are according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 7, verse 6. Let me show you who you are according to the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Hold on, don't, don't walk away from this. Just check this one out. Listen. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Uh-huh. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says that you are an holy people. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. The Bible says he has chosen thee, chosen you. What? To read, read on. To be a special people. The Bible says you are a special people. That's what you are according to the Bible. Whether you know it or not, the Bible calls you a special people. What we're trying to do is show you who you are. We're trying to show you your identity as to who you are. You're not an African American. You're not black. You're not a Moor. That's right. And we're trying to show you who you are. Read that again. The, for the Lord thy, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people Read. unto himself. The Lord chose you to be a special people unto himself. Read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Bible says that you are above all people on the face of the earth. That's what you're supposed to be. Above all people on the face of the earth. Now, question is, who are you? Do you know your identity? Uh, I, we're showing you your, uh, your value, your worth. That's your value and that's your worth. Let us show you who you are, according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Are you familiar with the slave trade? You familiar with the Atlantic slave trade? Check this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 68. Uh -huh. Hold that, hold that post up. And the Go. Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Bible says that the Lord is going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again. The word Egypt means slavery. It means bondage. It means captivity. Read. With ships. How did we get here? How did our ancestors get on, the, on this soil right here? Slave cargo ships, did they not? Showing you who you are in the Bible. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The way this Bible said it was going to happen, it happened just that way. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. Your homeland is Jerusalem. That's where we come from. That's right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Did this not happen to our people? This happened to, our, this happened to your ancestors and mine. This is who we are. We for bond men, for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women. Right? This is who you are. You're an Israelite. I'm assuming you're so-called African American. Notice I say so-called African American. What? On your driver's license, what do you put? On your driver's license, what? What does it say? Black. Oh, it says other. What was your father? Your father was Moorish. That only so that means black. That means black. So that's what, right. So what you are, according to the Bible, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Do you know Jesus Christ? He himself comes from the tribe of Judah. Right? That's who you are. So we're trying to show you your value. Trying to show you your identity. Why? So that you can repent and come back to the laws and statutes of the Most High God. That's right. 